Uh, my name is Jessica and I was having neck and lower back pain, so that's what brought me in today. How you doing here, Jess? Okay? Yeah, it's um. Tell me. My lower back, right? It's like it's detached, like pulling something. Yeah, know, you feel it pulling on that low back? <laughs> yeah, that's called flexion distraction. When that table pulls down, mm -hmm. that's pulling on that disc. It's stretching out that disc down in that area. Mm -hmm. If you feel a lot of pressure down there, or sometimes even uncomfortability, uh, it's just because that area is swollen or it's irritated down in that spot. Okay, but it's good. First, gonna walk up and down the spine. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what the. Oh shit. Oh. I'm slobbing. <laughs> oh, you're good. I think I want to cry. Because I feel good. Oh my goodness. Some people look at the table moving up and down. And some people are just annoyed by it. They think it's just a lot of noise. Other people think it's BS. But what it's helping me do is bypass. Because right now, as I go to lean in, she's involuntarily contracting like muscle guarding. So I use that to then go through and then make that adjustment. Okay. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh. I'm sorry, because I'm going to get all the slobbing in yeah, here. It's all good. This is an everyday thing, oh. especially for newbies. Oh is this your first time ever getting adjusted? Um, like this, yes. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm going to hold here at the hip, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't understand, this is, oh my god. I want to say something else, but... It might not be PG-13. Oh my gosh. All right, so this is the left side. So this is where you have that left lower spine angle, okay? On that x-ray. So I'm gonna come through here. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh. You what? Listen, yeah, right. y'all don't understand. Y'all have to be here to believe it. Y'all can't. Y'all can't even take word of mouth for this one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. You know, this is that left lower spine angle I'm talking about. That's why she's feeling what she's feeling right now. What is up, guys? I want to show you a little bit more about the QL and then one of my favorite go-to, no equipment needed movements that you could really apply every day and get a lot of value from. There's only upside to the exercise I'm going to show you. So check it out. So the 12th rib is where it starts and then it's going to anchor into the first, second, third, and fourth lumbar vertebra. Now a lot of people that are dealing with angles in their spine, whether it be scoliosis, lists, or any type of postural lean, when we have it like that, we're going to create lengthening and more tension on one side and more crowding and compression in the other. So what do we need to do? We need to have a movement that we could do that could help not only mobilize the area, but kind of neutralize that angle as much as possible through neuromuscular re-education. So O here is gonna demonstrate exactly how I want you to be doing this movement on a regular basis. So show us first step. So we're bringing uh, thumbs to about uh, midway through the chest. You were gonna say nipple line though, right? Nipple line, line nipple in the line. chest. That's anatomically uh, You kinda accurate. wanna find your nipples. And it's okay to say. And yep. then, uh, Absolutely, it's a great landmark. <laughs> it is, uh, We're right? bringing elbows up. <laughs> and now stage one is gonna be just kinda getting this movement here, bringing your elbows up and down. Uh, more than anything, you don't want the elbows uh, just moving just to move you want to feel your rib cage kind of open up it's a great point most people when you what do you see people do just kind of number one thing they do yep, a little like dance kinda, yeah <laughs> a little seesaw We're not doing this, yeah. so when he gets here do you feel that pull right through Absolutely. this area Absolutely. so I think that's a good indicator for you to know that hey at least I'm in the right plane when I'm doing that movement so one is you're gonna get that pulling sensation at that lat and that QL angle okay so step two now Break it down for us. Once you feel that pull there, He's now you kind of want to start this. driving the elbows through into a figure eight motion. Nice. The elbows are just propelling you. And the same thing, you want to feel that pull. So let's flip it around now on the backside. So with him in this position, 
He's working his torso and his rib cage, which remember is an anatomically anchor point for the QL. And the spiral or the coil motion is also working the second part of the anchor, which is that lumbar spine. So working those two together is a very practical way to not only target the QL and put the motion in to help it do its job, which is to stabilize and mobilize, but it's prepping you and preparing you for real locomotion or real movement, which is something where most people are gonna get locked up. A lot of times stretches, guys, you're doing something but it doesn't translate so the type of stretch you're doing doesn't translate into an everyday activity so the minute you go to do it you're like oh shit and then you wonder why it doesn't translate is because it didn't have that locomotive value to it so one of the things I like about this is this is an everyday movement you might you might not be doing what he's doing on a daily basis but this coil and spiral effect for the spine when you go to grab a kid or you pick up a bag that's going to be the motion you get in so at the end of the day it's not just about having a scoliosis and knowing a corrective exercise, it's actually something we should all be applying into our health from a spinal hygiene standpoint. <laughs> all right, this hand will come up like this. A lot of times what will happen is I'm in here adjusting, and when I adjust, bam, I get clocked in the head. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Yeah. <sighs> come down here. I'm going to get right there. You're going to let your body go back. Can you tolerate laying on my hand for just mm -hmm. a second? I want you to bend your knees, bend both knees. Okay. Yep, just like that. And what we're going to do is I'm going to ask you to just shift those knees and that angle just like that. Can you keep them at that angle while I'm here? There you go. Good. Now straighten them out. Oh. Oh. oh my God. Listen. Okay, so I'm going to work my way back up. Good. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, I needed that one in that leg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the one you needed right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. How you knew that? Yeah, I could feel it. <laughs> Limited range of motion in that plane. Oh my God. That's my job to feel it. Just keep getting better and better. Look to the right for me. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Listen, you the truth. That's crazy. I waited six months for this. This is the best six months I've ever waited. Listen, where's my life savings? I'm just gonna give them to you. That's it. I'm just, I can't. Oh my gosh. Thank y'all so much. Y'all don't understand the whole stuff. Look left. Look right. Look left. My God. Like your stone, by the way. Thank you. Bam. Listen. That's what we call power back on. Listen, now I'm on to my manifesting. Yeah. He just helped yeah, yeah. me. That's it, that's it. <laughs> oh my goodness, thank y'all so much. My adjustment went great. I feel like I'm in heaven, and I recommend this to anybody. Don't put it off, come. <laughs>